I have been talking about that I got from Amazon that finally came in were these bags for my cashmere. As I mentioned, I did go ahead and order the cedar hangers as well. I probably should wait until I get those so that I can hang them with the cedar hangers instead of my white ones that I have them hung on currently up there. But these seem really nice. I know that the reviews were kind of here and there, but I really think these seem like a really good quality. So they come in different sizes, which I really liked. You have your really, really long ones, and then these that are not as long, and then those that are like for a suit. And that one's gonna be really good for my Max Mara coat. But I think I will just wait until I get the cedar hangers. I should get them on Friday. So today's Wednesday. I can wait a couple of days to get those and then get all of this stuff into bags. I'm really excited to finally get these into some protective bags. I am taking my other two sweaters that I had on this end that had some moth bites. I am going to take them to the dry cleaners. Okay, so I ended up getting these cedar hangers in the mail yes, yesterday when I was recording this video. So this is what they look like. And I don't know why, for some reason, I thought it was going to be a big hanger. But these just, you, they come in this little box, but they're not attached. So you just screw them in to the little pre-drilled hole. So there's not really anything you have to do. It doesn't seem like it gets real thick. But what these are meant to do is you're meant to put them in between your clothes like that to keep the moths away. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm still going to put them in the plastic bags, which I did these two sweaters. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bolt the sweaters together that are kind of themed the same, and then maybe just put this here, or maybe even just on the inside through this little hole here like that and it'll just sit in there on its own I'll probably even just let it release like that and just let it hang in there this set also did come with the mothballs so these are the mothballs that it came with and what it said on these is to put these in your pockets so with my Max Mara coat, then I would put these in the pockets like that. And then maybe put this in here like that. And then put it in one of the longer bags. Let's see which one. Okay, this, this one is the longer bag and these are really nice I mean I know that these kind of the zipper was kind of jicky on some of them but I think if you just zip it up and zip it back down it's fine it doesn't it's not that big of a deal now if the zipper is broken then that might be something different but mine wasn't really mine wasn't broken it was just kind of like lagging here so yeah this is my longest bag and I still have quite a bit left in there but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this little cedar here and I think what I'm gonna decide to do is this gets really heavy <laughs> 
I think what I'm going to decide to do is just have my husband buy some cedar planks from Lowe's or something and set them in the closets because in my closet I have like this shelf and hopefully we can measure those and just get like a thin cedar plank to just set in there so that we can kind of keep the moss out that way. But yeah, these are gonna work really good. And I think just doing the double diligence on this will help. And the top of this, it's not very, it's like a slit and the hanger just, the hanger wire just goes through it. And that is what's gonna help protect it. So I did take my other sweaters to the cleaners. I'll show you all what they kind of look like when I get them back. But yeah, I'm so excited and happy that I was able to get these. And it does come with a little insert that tells you kind of what to do with the little hangers and the mothballs. Yeah, I think this is gonna work out. Okay, and so I've gone ahead and put my coat there. So this says, for best results, to protect against moth, moths and mildew slash mold, always clean and dry garments thoroughly before extended storage. Place one cedar ball in the pocket of each stored garment when hanging or between alternate layers of clothing. When folded, place cedar balls or planks in drawers or between clothes to contain the cedar scent. Hang the cedar planks in your closet between your clothes to help prevent moss from landing on your clothes. Replace cedar every six to 12 months or restore fresh scent simply by rubbing with a fine grade of sandpaper. So you can actually bring these back, the scent back, just by sanding them down a little bit. So that's good to know. So it's 100% natural red cedar wood. This is a whole lot better than those mothballs that I got from Walmart, because those are so toxic, extremely toxic. Wow, so it says that you can give a review on Amazon and send them a picture of your review and they'll send you a free supply. I might do that. Might as well, right? So I can get more. So they repel moss and other insects. Cedar home cedar contains no added chemicals, which is great. Cedar home cedar is harvested from renewable forest protects against mild, mildew slash mold. So yeah, I'm really happy that I got these. I'm gonna go ahead ahead and pack the rest of my items in these bags that I also got from Amazon. And I'm really excited about all of this. I might go ahead and put my furry coats in this bag just to keep them protected since I have this extra one. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna group these together. Like these are kind of a set to me, so I'll probably put those together. I'm gonna put my sweaters together, 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 <laughs> together. And then obviously my scarf and my hat, I'm gonna put in a bag together. So let me do that really quick and then I'll show you guys how I group these. Okay, so I decided to change the bags. My mascara coat because this is really, really long and that other one was 
quite a bit shorter in length and I thought it I felt like it worked better in there now I'm gonna have to see because I only have this size left I'm gonna have to see if I can get this shirt this won't go here that's just my Max Mara shirt that I had there so I'll have to see how many I have left in terms of what I still need to bag so I'm gonna wait till I get my stuff back from the cleaners to finish this off, but this is basically what it's gonna look like. I am going to put like my sweaters, I'm gonna put them back in my main closet, just in the bag. So I'll put this, this one actually goes in this closet. So I'll go ahead and put it back here and then my sweater bag I'll put back in my master closet as well as the, these items here. They go in my master closet. And then this one will go back here. So I will go ahead and put this stuff back in this closet that needs to go back in this closet. And my other items will go where they belong as far as like in my master closet. So I think it'll be fine to put these here because this is where I normally have them. So I'm gonna put that back there. And then this is my new blazer from Max Mara that I just want to hang up here and since it's a hopefully this bag won't be too long and I can get it up here with no issues hold on I grabbed it from the wrong part it goes make sure this is zipped up all the way it has this little hooded part that covers the zipper but I like having that extra assurance with the cedar inside that there and it does hang down quite a bit but I think it'll be okay I'd rather have it like that than none at all and actually what I'm gonna do sorry for that glare I think it's the sunshine coming in I think I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these up here I'm gonna try to there we go and as I mentioned hopefully we can get some more cedar and just have it in here so basically in this closet I want to get a plank that I can put on top of here and there and maybe even on the top just to set up there for now I think I could probably put one of these in here just there just put it right there and probably should put one on the other side but I still need to save some for my other bag so I have one two left so as I said hopefully we can get some more or get the I rather have the plank in here and that way that'll cover that whole aspect in there. And then in the master closet, let me go ahead and take some of these that are going back in the master closet. Okay, so one thing I do see right off the bat is that this does, having multiple hangers in here does make this hole a little bit bigger, which gives more opportunity for a moth to sneak in there so I'm wondering if like on well, all of these have the hanger on there um, and if these are going back in my master closet I have to change these hangers out so I'm wondering if I should just leave them here they're not gonna hurt anything I think if I need to follow do... some sort I could probably move them and then put them back because I just don't see the point in changing out the hangers. Now, I might change my mind about that later on. But I just don't see the point 
I'm doing that right now. And I don't want my cashmere to get wonky on a different type of hanger. So I think I'm probably just going to leave these here and then decide once I get my stuff back from the dry cleaners and see how to utilize another bag. And then, yeah. So when I get those back, I should get those back Wednesday or Tuesday of next week. So today's Thursday. So I should be able to get those back and show you all how those turned out because I'm really excited to see how those look. Okay, so just to end this video, I wanted to go ahead and show you all that I did buy this lavender that I've been doing a lot of reading and researching about the moss and the cedar hangers and balls, I think are gonna be good. But I think just for extra assurance, I bought this lavender and it comes with the little packs in a plastic bag like this. And it comes with a little scoop and you can just scoop it out and put however much you want in these little bags. And then you can just hang them from anywhere just to protect your items. And so I would even say that because it does have this little loop that you could actually just hang it over like on this one that it has so many until I get more I can just hang this over it and let it hang there like that also have this here that I could probably hang on the door I think before when I had my sweaters in here I would leave this door open and now that I'm closing it I think it's going to help also to keep the moss out okay so I got my sweaters back wow I am so impressed I did have a little hole, I remember, here in the front. And they have completely fixed that. And you can't even tell. So that's another awesome, yeah, it was right here because I can feel like, I can feel the little knotted repair let me look on the inside but it's not really bad where was it no, I can't find it <laughs> right there see how they did that which you know like I said you can't tell at all okay let's look at my sweater because my sweater this gray sweater was the worst I'm gonna put it here on this table and you know the see right there the sleeves again you can feel that knotting right there but that's better than having a hole there and here yeah so that worked out really good I mean it's not perfect like when I bought it but for a hundred dollars I mean wow it to restore it was good now I ended up paying they did go ahead and dry clean but to repair the holes it was $12.50 for one and $7.50 for the other that's the end of my video thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one bye